Hi, and welcome again to another edition of Market Analysis for today, October 27th, 2023. My name is Giovanni Benacourt, Analyst, Trader, and Educator with Vantage Markets. All right, so we're looking at the fluctuation uh, for NASDAQ. I haven't moved my levels of support and resistance. Uh, today, this, today, the market has opened with a small gap down. Okay, it has been closed already. So if we were to see any continuation to the upside, we could probably find some resistance right around 14,400 and then see if that will be enough uh, of sellers around here to bring the, the market back down as it has been precipitating. Uh, let's see if that's, how, that's the case. Now, if right now it starts to, 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 retreat, to retreat and we could probably find some support again around 14,200 like yesterday and then continue to see if we come down to 14,000, which that will be the bottom, uh, hopefully the bottom for the, for the NASDAQ. So we, you know, be, keep that in mind. There's a lot of geopolitical uncertainty, obviously uh, incrementing every single day. Uh, so all of those scenarios uh, are gonna be a factor in somehow into, into the market's fluctuation. So keep that in mind. Sometimes, uh, you know, Will we see the same uh, scenario as yesterday where we kind of traded higher towards a 14 or 400 and then just drop and then come back up, came back up again and just really stayed uh, really lingering around the, the, the pivot point, which it will be 14, 300. All right. So let's see if that will be the case today. First to towards the 14, 400 and then a pullback back down to 14, 14, 200 and see if it breaks that then. Re revisiting yesterday's low and then 14,000. In that same scenario, we can ad address it for the S&P as well as for the Dow, okay? Uh, now, crude oil, uh, I'm looking at crude oil to be uh, creating a channel of, of between 86 and 83-ish, all right? The pivot point will be around $85 and the middle point, okay? So, we'll, it's pulling back right now, probably, Profit taking, closing out position. It is the end of the month, last Friday. So also a lot of position being closed, being rolled over. So keep that in mind in the futures market. So uh, here we have nat gas. Nat gas actually did trade it above our our three fifteen resistance. I've, I've moved it up to our this triple top that has created and brought my, brought my support to three dollars. Profit taken uh, could be seen right now. Let's see if it continues to do so. Down back down towards the 315 where we had that resistance yesterday. Now it turns into a support. So keep that in mind. Gold. I'm, I'm looking at gold to stay really, really, really in a tight, in a very tight spread. You know, between 2000 and 1960, the 1980 will be the pivot point. Uh, just really, just really a lot of sharpie here. So keep that in mind. Uh, silver also just very, very. Very, very, very quiet. Uh, so keep that in mind. Don't, don't get wait for a breakout uh, and take that position and be sharp about it. Copper, copper is trading higher. So I'm having 365 at my resistance continuous that double top created on, on the uh, October 9th. So let's see if that will be the case. And then uh, you know 352 is that support for it. But being long copper for right now, then Bitcoin. I'm um, Bitcoin could you know bust a move and make a parabolic movement to the upside or well or as well just could just stay here and lingering around 34,000 just because of the weekend but then again obviously the trades 24 7 then we have the currencies uh the euros looking to stay or come back up towards the 106 marker the pound is looking to come up to 122 marker and that will happen as we see that the euro dollar in the, the dollar index uh continues to retreat back down to 106 then then we will probably see <clears throat> 106 in the euro and 122 on the pound that's it for me today have a great trading day and i will see you on monday